almost half of Rajampat slums were dilapidated. Among the stately houses, Padamanium Kit of Ayar's house stood majestically with its double camera rooms. Saraswati Amal was sitting in the brick cement floored hall at the front of the house, braiding her daughter Lalitha. By the time the pin was finished, the sound of Jing Jing Jika Jing heard by post office Banguru Naidu and Balakrishnan entered the house and fell slightly on the ear. How long, mother? I'll knit soon. Said Lalita. I'll knit slowly, what's the hurry? I'll have to run to the post office in the scorching sun. If the post has arrived, where will it go? Balakrishnan himself will bring it. While saying this, the knitting is finished. Just as Lalita was about to lift it, she woke up with a convulsion. I hug you, mom. Saying that, she ran to the door. Lalita. Lalita. Come here. If you come, come. If you don't come, you, will you just leave? Then if you come back and set foot in this house. While Saraswati Amma was shouting, Padamanium Kid of Ayar entered the house. Baby Lalita hesitated when she saw her father. Her tea blossomed like a flower. Embarrassment and privilege competed on her innocent child's face. Lalita's mother stood up when she saw her husband. Kid of Ayar looked at her and said, What's wrong, Saresu? Why are you making noise? Is it your job to make the child angry whenever you see it? He asked in a stern voice. Yes, it's my job to make your darling child angry. You've given space and given. What has Lalita done? Tell me how many times. She says she'll run to the post office alone. Will she stop without the incoming mail? She's born, she's got to get the baby married this year somehow. Enough, stop. What's this got to do with marriage? Will anyone send an old married woman alone? What if? Will there be an earthquake? The post office is not even two furlongs away. Gone are the days of locking women indoors. Lalita. You go. If I've got any mail, take it. That's it. After taking one look at her mother, Lalita jumped like a deer and ran to the door. I've seen it too but I've never seen people pampering a woman like this. Ever since you left for Bombay, father and woman have become like this. Where is all this going to end, or what? Saraswati muttered. Everything will be fine, you keep your mouth shut? You want only the groom to be highly educated, shouldn't he get used to the woman as it should be? How about tomorrow if you are keeping a package inside the house? Meanwhile, the sound of someone's footsteps coming from the door was heard. Saraswati Amma stepped back a little and stood on the edge of the pillar. The man who came was Kid of Ayar's close friend and relative Simachu Iyer. The talk of those friends was a different kind. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? You know, oi. You know what? Oi. Our uncle Kalyanazundaram came from town in the morning. He came with a newspaper in his hand. It's all screwed up, oi. What's in it, oi? Earthquake in Bihar province. What? 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 It's a great earthquake. They fear that there may be a lot of loss of life and property. The press is all over this one thing. Get over it. Simachu. What wonder is this? What wonder? I was talking about the earthquake five minutes before you arrived. What were you talking about? I was saying to Saresa that if the child goes to Tabalabis, there will be an earthquake. Before he can close his mouth, you walk in and say earthquake in Bihar. The Brahmin's vow will be fulfilled immediately. What a commoner you are! Of great Vedic lineage! One who has dissolved and drunk the Atharvana Veda. Oh. It seems to be calling you. Saraswati Amma, who was standing in the shade of the pillar, came forward and struggled to make Kid of Ayar look back. Seeing this, Simachuwiyar said so. Saresu. I dare to come forward like this. What is the matter with our Simachu? Saraswati Amal said to Enaswaram, 
What is he saying about earthquake or decom bam? The child has gone alone. You at once go and fetch him. If not, send someone. 